Hi there, welcome back. Today we will look into the details of the essential animation effect in DaVinci Resolve. This effect can be applied to any clips and objects in the timeline and create various animations without keyframing or going to the fusion page. Here are some animations created with the essential animation effect. It also includes the support for the MIDI extractor modifier so that we can use a MIDI file as a control source to create a dynamic animation following the song. As usual, you can download the template with the link in the description below. Once it's installed, the essential animation effect will be available in the effects panel. I will be using the DaVinci Resolve logo for this demo. Apply the animation effect and go to the Effects tab in the Inspector. This is similar to the Animation tab in the Essential Title template. If you haven't seen that video before, you can click the link up here, or go through the link in the description below. Today we will first go through these effects individually, and at the end I will show you how to create the price tag animation, as we see in the preview. There are three groups of parameters in the Controls tab. The animation in group has the animation effects for revealing objects, such as still images, logos, or video clips. The animation out has the effects for closing objects. The effects are the same types as in the previous group, but works in a reverse direction. The last group contains the loop animations that will run through the entire duration of the clip. Let's start from the first group. The parameter animate in time controls how long the intro animation will run, it's set to 15 frames as default. To better see the animation effects, we set this to 30 frames, which is 1 seconds in this case. The ease in and out drop down lists have the system defined ease curve presets that we can select to customize the animations. When none is selected for both in and out curve, the animation will run in a linear way. Fade in is a simple effect, it just fades in the object so the image gradually appears. When the zoom effect is turned on, the image will transform the image from this given zoom size to 1, which is the actual image size. By default, it zooms in from 0 to 1. If we set zoom size to something greater than 1, the effect will change to a zoom out animation. With the spin and rotation enabled, the image will rotate from the specified angle back to zero. It spins clockwise when angle is set to a value greater than zero. With a negative angle, the image rotates counterclockwise. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Change the pivot to move the image out of screen. And we have got an effect that rotates the image into view. If we change the ease out curve to elastic, the animation gets very springy and looks cool. Change the curve to bounce, the animation is now bouncing as the name suggested. When it's set to kint, we get a very smooth animation effect. If we leave the pivot to center of the screen and combine with the zoom effect, change the angle to something big, like 720 degrees. We will get this classic spin in effect. We can also play with the ease in curve options to change animation style. Play with the settings of the spin and rotation effect, you can create some very unique animation styles of your own. Slide effect slides the image into the view from a distance controlled by this parameter, at a given angle specified in the slide in angle field. As default the angle is set to zero, which means the slide is horizontal. When the distance is set to negative value, the image will slide from left. Otherwise it will come from the direction specified by the angle. 
we can adjust the distance when the playhead is at the beginning of the clip so that the image is just off the screen, not too far from the edge. For example, if we change the angle to 90, distance to 1, the image will drop from the top. But for a distance of value 1, the image is too far from the top edge, so we will change the distance. Something like this is good. Without any easy curve selected, the animation is pretty boring. Choosing one of these presets brings the effect to life, you should be able to find one that meets your preference. If the angle is changed, you may need to adjust the distance to ensure the image is outside of the view at the beginning. The swing effect has more control parameters than the others, it simulates a swing motion in a 3D world. The swing can either use x-axis or y-axis. When it's set to x, it swings vertically. When it's set to y-axis, it swings horizontally. The swing anchor is defined by pivot x, y, z parameters. The angle parameter sets the starting angle of swing motion. When the pivot is changed, we usually also adjust the angle to make sure the image is not visible at the beginning of the clip. For example, if we want to change the pivot Z to have a longer swing, we will need to reduce angle to make the image invisible. Changing the pivot X and Y values will give us some unique swing styles. Once again, we can choose one of the ease curves to add a dynamic style to the effect. We can also increase the motion blur to give the animation a more realistic look. But it will take longer to render with motion blur enabled. As mentioned earlier, the animation out effects are the same with those intro ones. When they are enabled, the animations run at the end of the clip, with the duration set to the frames defined in this animation out time parameter. Change the animation time to 30. Fade out hides the object by reducing the image opacity from 1 to 0. Zoom effect resizes the image from 1 to the specified size. Either zoom in or zoom out, depending on the size value. Turning on the spin effect together with the fade and zoom effects, we can have some nice outro animations. When the pivot is at the center, we get the classic out transition. If we change the pivot, something like this, the animation gets really cool. Similarly, we can use one of the ease curves to add dynamics to the effect. Usually for an outro animation, I would choose the preset in the ease in list, because the motions are more visible. While for the intro animation, I use the Ease Out preset. Slide effect slides out the image, the parameters are the same ones as we use in the slide effect in the previous group. The swing effect also has the same parameters, as in the previous group, instead of swinging in the image, it swings the image out of view. We can always select an ease in or ease out curve to customize the effect. The loop animations don't have duration control, as in the animation in and out effects, they will always run through the entire duration of the clip. Enable the random shake effect to move the image randomly. We can use these settings to change the shake strength and speed. If we only want to move horizontally, we can set the strength Y to 0. Or set X to 0 to shake vertically. Change the speed parameter to make the animation run faster or slower. Swing effect has a similar effect as we showed previously. 
Instead of running only once, this loop swing effect repeats the swing effects across the entire duration. By default, it swings on the Z axis. Change the swing strength to adjust the swing angle. The pivot parameters control the position of the swing anchor. As the default setting, it only swings on the Z axis. We can also enable the swing on other axes at the same time by setting their speed to values greater than zero. When swinging on the X or Y axis, we can change the Z pivot to extend or shorten the swing arm. Set the speed parameter to a higher value for faster swings or lower the value to slow down. The rotation loop is similar to the swing effect. Instead of the swing back and forth, it rotates continuously. We use the speed parameters to control on which axis the rotations run. The difference here is that we can change the value to negative so that it rotates in a reverse direction. When increasing the Z pivot, we can have the image running in a 3D circle. Pulse effect creates a pulsating pattern to animate different parameters of the object. By default the effect is enabled for the image size. The pulse strength defines how much changes will be applied. The speed controls how fast the values are changed. Enable Pulse X to move the image left and right. Pulse Y enables the vertical movement. When the angle is checked, the image rotates back and forth. The MIDI effect uses Fusion MIDI Extractor tool, we can choose a MIDI file to animate the image. I have two other videos showing how to use the MIDI Extractor to create audio visualizer effects, you can check them out, the links are included in the description below. For example, I can take the same MIDI file I used before. Add the MP3 audio file to the timeline. This is not bad. We can use this result scale parameter to adjust the motion strength. We can also change mode and events to adjust the animation result. I find that the sum option gives me the best result. Similar to the pulse effect, we can choose which dimension parameter we want to animate. Okay. We have covered all the animation effects in this template. Next we are going to create a price tag animation, just like we saw in the preview. On the timeline, I have put the price tag image on top of a four-color gradient background. Apply the essential animation effect. Go to the effects in the inspector. We want to have a dropping and bouncing effect to reveal the price tag. So we turn on the slide effect. Change the angle to 90. Move the playhead to the beginning. Change the distance so that the price tag is off from the top. This is boring. So we select the bounce curve from the ease out list. OK, much better now. In the loop section, enable the swing effect. Turn off the swing on Z axis. Enable swing on Y axis so the price tag rotates left and right. Increase a bit of the swing strength, something around 5. Lower the speed to about 0.3. This is good, we just need a bit of left-right shifting motion for a more natural look. Turn on the pulse effect. Enable pulse X and angle. Disable the size animation. Lower the strength to 0.01. Reduce the speed to 0.05. To add a closing effect, go to the out section. Change the time to 30 frames. Enable the slide effect. Set the angle to 90 degrees. Move the playhead to the end. 
Change the distance so the tag is just out of the screen from the top. Select the Expo curve from the Ease In list. Let's also change intro animation time to 30 frames. OK, we now have completed the animation setup for the price tag. If you want, you can keep playing with these settings to get a result of your liking. We can even add another animation effect to the clip and enable another swing effect on top of existing ones. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.